Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Clubber Lang, Rocky 3. So, just a small disclaimer for me personally. I'm a massive Rocky mark. I've probably seen all the Rockies like 20 times. I couldn't be more excited for a crossover event than this. And all I have to say is anyone that goes up against Clubber... I pity the fool. I pity the fool. So, I have five builds for you guys. Five. Technically, it's going to be six. Um, but, um, I'm going to run this first build first with a drip, just to get it out of the way. And then I will remove the drip for the rest of the preview and run this build without a drip. So you will see this build with and without a drip. Don't tune out just because you hear the word drip. I'm going to run one build with the drip, one match, take it off, and then switch. So don't panic. It's only going to be on for this one build. Uh, where to get to? Legend Era Powerhouse Aggressive. So far, I don't know if it'll stay this way. We only have a Legends link. I kind of feel like we're going to get a Rocky link of some kind. I don't know. That's not inside info. That's a guess and a hope. Um, also, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a moment. I think the blog said something about that. Uh, don't quote me if not. Uh, the standard gear, the Rocky 3 gear, uh, is what we're looking at here. So that's what we have. Rocky 3 gear. And uh, he's a trainer. Really good one. At 6 star, moves that steal health. will steal 150% more. Uh, Trickster Rhea Ripley instantly comes to mind as this being incredible for. Uh, also, maybe uh, potentially on um, Zombie Mankind has got a big health steal. Cesaro has a big health steal. And I'm sure we'll see more along with, oh, by the way new um rocky four here mr technician rocky has like a 800 720k base uh health steal so <clears throat> definitely a great trainer and like i said five build sets so let's jump in here drip is going to be on for one match and one match only um worth noting i have a yellow move damage metal not maxed um so that's worth noting and nothing great gem damage wise we're sitting at 120 percent is all uh, you can get that much higher. The strap is only a 5%er, uh, not really specializing in any gem colors. So yellow move damage, 149%. And of course, if you didn't know what uh, the drip plate does, the dominator drip, whenever you activate a black move, make seven random gems and multiply gems of string seven. Like I said, one build with it, then it's coming off. Uh, here we go. Finisher. Runus Right Cross. Uh, 10 MP, finisher, deal 198k damage, make 25 random gems into black gems, pin the opponent. You'd want a red move damage metal on for this one. Re -re Relentless advance, 6 MP black move, deal 142k damage, choose 6 gems to make into red. And then bait and switch, uh, 6 MP black move, deal 161k damage, choose a 2 by one area to modify into pyro gems, modify all gems above it into multiply gems of strength 6 when broken by you. Entourage. We're running with Woods, so the MP starts loaded in Feud. This will be a Feud-ready build. Titus, so we make four black, more black gems. Uh, you can see we get our total to 31. That gives us a lot more connections, makes this way more consistent. You could do a five and a three match. I, however, don't trust my Cascade abilities. Uh, you could also match a Multiply gem with a red on a three match uh, if it worked out right. However, I'm putting... Um, X-Pac on here, so I can just do two red three matches and fill the finisher in Feud, and then Bree for another two black gem damage. Uh, gems, Zombie HBK would be better. He'd give you one more. So here we go. I'm going against Santa Hogan on the road uh, because he's got the most hit points. Since there's no six stars. Almost six million. So we're going to start off with the old bait and switch. I'm going to put it right here. Right now this move seems to be like slowly frozen. I'm sure that'll get addressed. It does this every time I use it. Okay. I really shouldn't have put it there. Don't ask me why I put them there. I've already screwed this up because I'm so excited about Clubber Lang. Because uh, I just made a 5 match. Oops. That's 12. Uh, I believe we're pinning. Yeah, because I hit the multiplies. So I'm going to run this one twice without a, with a drip. I lied about once. 
um, and do it right. <laughs> my apologies. I could redo this. I could edit that out. But, I mean, really, uh, my gameplay is almost a meme at this point anyway. So, you know. Also, the move animations for Club are ridiculous. Should probably watch the uh, ring animations to the entrance to the ring uh, instead of skipping it. So cool. So this is without most of our multiply gems, of course. Uh, we hit for 2.8 million. Uh, missing just about everything. So let's do that again. And crank it up to two times speed. And then we'll take the drip off. In some ways, it's actually easier to not cascade uh, without the drip. But that was my fault. I don't know why I put it between all those reds. Just totally not thinking, guys. Because um, I'm so excited about him. Because this is fun for me. Okay, here we go. Going to do it right this time, though. Definitely going to do it right this time. We'll see. I mean, I say that, but, you know, it might not be right. So here we go. No reds on the bottom for me to mess this up. Oh, I skipped his entrance. I'll get that one of these times, too, in this video. All right. Multiply gems down. So what I was saying, if you get a multiply there, you could clip that. Um, I would rather save it for the finisher, bigger finisher. Um, so let's break these here and see what happens. Oh, yeah, no. We also need to do another red three match somewhere. To fill the finisher in feud, that is. Hey, Merrick's did it right. Hit me. Okay. You're going to be able to bump that up a lot. Feud uh, damage bonus. Um, scrap, uh, all that kind of stuff. So you'll be able to bump that up a bunch. But that's with the drip. So let's take it off and run it without the drip now. Alright, we're going to run plateless, I think, the rest of this. He has a ton of plate options you could use. I will talk about them as we go through the build sets. Um, but let's run this move now. Without the drip. Here we go. So there's all these black gems over here. So this is a very nice spot for a three match, you know? Very, very nice spot. course I cascaded that one might have been visible um, and I might not have paid attention to it if it was that row I think maybe I could have seen that coming actually so that's a Merrick's mistake no surprise it's like I'll be running this one twice and this is why I have two times speed on because I'm terror bad three mil with a Merrick's mess up Hopefully without the mess up. This looks good-ish. From what I can tell. So it's probably terrible. Yay, I did it right. Alright, thank goodness. Very nice. Very, very nice. 3.8. Okay. So that's no drip. Moving on. We're going to run this set. 
we are going to keep uh, one of the moves and sub some more in. Uh, I saved my favorite two moves for last, by the way. So you could use a bunch of different plates on this move set I'm going to run. You could use like a Queen's Tiara and buff Black Gems. Um, you could use like a Cheap Shot, Head Games, uh, Pyro Plate. Uh, like I said, a bunch of different stuff. So we're going to put the, the Clinch and Destroy in. And the Rope Trap combo is going in. This is uh, pretty cool. The Rope Trap combo is a 1 MP move. Deal 99k and choose a 4x1 area to destroy. And the Clinch and Destroy is deal 143k damage. Choose two columns to destroy. 6 MP black. Entourage for this one. You don't need 17k Santa. He's on there for gem damage across the board. I did, don't usually, I'm not usually a fan of using Miz. However, because you don't know what color the uh, multiply gems are going to be for sure, and they're going to be all different. I'm um, running him for 15% more on all of those. Running Matt uh, for their gem by two, and then, you know, Woods to get started right away. Like I said, last two move sets are my favorite. And this works pretty well. And black and red are the colors you want. This spot looks good. Also, keep in mind we're destroying a 1x4, so we shift all of this down. No blue should go there. Looks fine-ish for what we can tell, so it shouldn't be a Merrick screw-up when this cascades. This should just be the board. I pity the fool. I was close. I was close. Now we just destroy. Oh, my animations. I am so sorry, guys. Because the animations are so cool. Um, you're going to see that move again, and then you saw that one, though. So 3.3 million. You know, it's not, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Obviously, it's easy to recycle. I can watch his move animations all day. I know maybe not everyone can. Next move set. Same principle, except he's a powerhouse, so let's turn all those multiplies that we can into red gems. This is what I thought. Uh, so it's we're going to move one move in, and I believe you guys have already seen it, the Relentless Advance. So that's all we're doing here. And then we are generating all the red gems. Zianka for three, and... Hall of Fame Lita for two more is 11. Feud would give you one more for 12. Okay. I'm going to watch the ring entrance this time. I'm going to watch. Looks so intimidating. Did me. All right, so a couple things if you care about recycling with this one, make sure you take one where you can do a row break and break a black multi-gem, which we can right here. So just for example, we could put this here, shift everything down four, look safe for what we can see to me, or down one, these four down one rather. Now we're choosing our multiplies. One, two, three, four. That row breaks that. So we'll turn that into a red. One, two, three. We're going to have to avoid this one, or it'll be a five match and we'll miss clipping it. So we're going to lose a little bit of damage there. How much do I care? I don't know. I'll care. Three point eight mil. Pretty consistent three point eight mil with these so far. Um, so yeah, 
that's that set. If you don't care about hitting the uh, recycle, then obviously that could have had one more times eight multiplier on it. Okay, so now we're getting into the, the my two favorite move sets. Uh, this is probably my favorite. This is the one I likely would use some of the time. The last one I think is what I would use him for the most because it would be very. Oops. I guess you're getting a bonus one on this because Merrick's click battle. Uh, going back here. Now we'll just choose all of them and not worry about the. the recycle. The stone floor. Looks good for what I can see. I'm not used to looking at the gem board that way, to be honest, so I do occasionally miss that kind of stuff as it shifts down one. look like we're crashing. Wouldn't be a Merrick's preview without one of those. Um... If he dies, he dies. I don't know what to say. He got me. Okay, I should probably fix this so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Do, 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 as I reload my game. <laughs> All right. Marix crash complete. It is now an official preview. Good news is, I guess we're not running that game again. Or that match. The build, again. Words, they're hard. Can do this. Okay. Can do this. Fun. There you go. So this build set, I like this one a lot for feud. It's very control, all of that jazz. I guess we're using 810 health packs. Thank you, Game Freeze. Alright. Last moveset. We're bringing... Not second to last moveset. We're bringing the sub in. And you guys, I think, have seen the finisher. Yeah, you saw the finisher. You haven't seen the sub yet. And back to the choose move. So the illegal clinch is the sub. 7 MP red. Generate 25 random sub gems. Do 169k three turns. Uh, everything else turns into Multiply Gem of Strength 4. So we're going to put X-Pac on. That way 2-3 match loads the uh, finisher uh, after the sub, no problem. Uh, I don't want to have to make a 5 and a 3 match because, you know, Cascades and Merricks. So I try to Merricks proof things as much as I can. And then again, the Multiply Gems are going to be on a lot of different colors. So we are going to use um, Gem Damage. Miz, and he doesn't show up in the. Oh yeah, he does on this one. Never mind. Da, 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 da. He's gonna be right down here. Nope, he's in the show up in the not show up ones because it's a sub. I was right. Never doubt yourself, Marix. You know, guys. One time I thought I was wrong, uh, but I realized that was not the case. Just saying. No, it does work. Okay. This is the one you could run a ton of different plates. Dog, uh, Dog-eared gremlin plate would work off of the sub, uh, buff the red gems in blue. Um, Rhonda's jacket would buff black gems, uh, which obviously on the finisher would be the way to go, because uh, you're making the whole board uh, black or most of the board black gems. Um, if you don't have Miz, just do red gem generate. Love the animations on Clover. So any of the sub plates really uh, could work. You could use the NWO plate because it would proc off of that, make your finisher bigger. Um, 
Yeah. You could easily use two words for you uh, with those on the board. Uh, cheap shot head games increases your crit chance. Um, and there's enough room on the board that you wouldn't cover your multiply gems. So, yeah. I like this build for feud a lot because you're going to drain them. Then you're going to hit the big bop. Did me. I missed a few multiplies. Uh, it still hit for 2.85. It's fine because uh, we're draining them, you know? So, uh, I like that build set a lot, but how I see using him, and the main reason why I'm here against Santa Hogan, um, I think this is going to be sneaky good. He's a hard yellow counter, so anyone using yellow MP and Feud, I'm sure you can think of a few. Um, Zombie Dom comes to mind right away uh, as one of them. Uh, literally anyone using yellow moves, starting with yellow MP, this move set is really really good this is why i have the yellow move damage metal on keep in mind it's not maxed um we're moving the heavy handed right hook uh the wild haymaker in and then we're going back to that one mp move so yeah anyone you're feuding against that has kofi on uh you're going to be able to drain multiple times because this only drains two mp and you're going to beat them first turn quite easily uh, Entourage, you can see what I got cooking here. My Asuka is not leveled near enough. At 6 star, 26k, it's 100% yellow uh, move damage. So that's going to be another 500k there. So that's like up to 1 million um, total. And then you have the 200, if you have a 200% yellow metal, that gets you another million. So you're like 2.5 million total every time you click that. Um, really, really nice. So she's only at 35% here. My move damage metal is only at um, 155%. And then because of the bleed... Oh, I didn't read the moves. I should do that after this. Uh, we're going to put Seth. 66% more bleed. Also, Scott Steiner adds 65% bleed and two yellow MP. Uh, so you could use Scott Steiner as well. You could use Seth and Scott if you wanted to. I think Asuka is the better play when they have yellow MP, though. I'll show you why. You, If you have woods, you would use woods here, but I'm going to go a little bit less rare. Um, do 25% yellow with Hall of Fame Rude. He's certainly less rare than, than King Woods. Um, and then Kyrie for the bleed. So that brings the bleed to 300k. Uh, let's read the moves. Heavy right hook, 2 MP, deal 500k damage, steal up to 2 MP from each of your opponent's yellow moves, so it refills it. Wild Haymaker, 2 MP, deal 298k and deal 160k bleed damage to your opponent two turns, right? So this buffs it all up. We're at 800k, 477, 306 on the bleed. And Santa's got a 2 MP yellow move that we can use as an example. Um, obviously four or more would be better, but two is not nothing. Uh, so keep in mind, we're not set up as well as we could move damage wise. Santa's sitting at 5.8 million health. Let's just watch what happens there. Here's one stack of bleed. One MP steal. Two stacks of bleed. He's empty on MP, so that's done. But look at, we've already now done, and this is not even kind of optimal, we've already done over 5.2 million damage. We haven't moved the pin bar yet. If you have two yellow and a red next to each other like this, guess what? You're fully loaded again. And that's not counting if he had 4 MP to start 3 stacks of bleed. Uh, we've now done 5 point, well, more like 6 million damage. This is 7.5 million. And um, we could grab 2 yellow again right here. This is going to pin him because he's in the danger. But we could grab 2 yellow right here and hit them both again. And that's only being able to steal MP once. So anyone using yellow, I'm just bringing this move in. That's not even counting the bleed. Absolute hard counter to anyone using yellow. Um... Especially if they have 4 MP, you're probably not even needing to use the destroy move, to be honest, with it set up with Asuka maxed. Um, it might, in fact, in that case, um, 
what you absolutely could do is forget about buffing the bleed altogether and then just go yellow move damage or full move damage across the board take down twos yellow move damage on the takedown and then you could just put in um oscar you know go up to 100 percent instead of the paltry 35 i'm at uh let's get a what a 40 percenter i think 35 40 percenters 45 percent something like that i don't even remember uh where are you at somewhere down here yeah 45 percent more uh maybe you got gooker i mean this is just hypothetical right i have 50 percent more on the metal i got 65 percent more we could get on oscar what 80 percent more running takedowns two sets of takedown i think you get the idea where i'm going with this um it's a lot of chunky damage against anyone using yellow um so really i love the versatility on clever so we're at a million on this one, one seven on this one. I mean, just like that, we've drained 5.4 mil damage. Two yellow, one red. Cascade risk here. Another million. What are we up to like probably 9 million now? And again, there's tons of room for growth. Right here. Two more yellow. Pop it again if they, he wasn't in danger. Uh, it's just awesome. Awesome moveset. Um, love that it's a hard counter to yellows. Bringing back MP steals is super cool. Those were useful back in the day. Uh, so where does he fit in in my roster? I feel like I do not have a powerhouse even remotely like him. So taking out the trainer away, the fact that it's 150% around health steal, absolute monster for anyone with a big health steal. Uh, I don't feel like I have any powerhouse that plays like him. And for me, that's a big deal because I like a diversified roster. He's also Legend Era. Um, so Legend powerhouses that I believe it's like Sika and Anvil are the two big ones. Anvil with his moment is going to be a faster feuder for sure. But that's also assuming you have the moment, then you're investing in six stars to basically just feud with him, right? And uh, I don't know. I really feel like the... They're both he, also he's aggressive anvil's focused. I feel like the diverse the the fact that he's so wildly diversified from all my other powerhouses. One, there's not a lot of multiply powerhouses. You know, he's got a sub. Uh, he can turn the whole board black. He can do the bleed MP steal thing. He's just really really unique. Um, so for that reason and the coach, I mean, you can see I have a ton of six stars at powerhouse. It's the one I have the most of. Um, I think he's as good as any powerhouse in the game, just different, right? Um, and very useful. The playstyle might not be everyone's, but there's so much there, you can probably find something that fits your playstyle, plates, trainers, uh, plus the coach. And to me, he's extremely fun, which is important because you tend to play what's fun more, right? Um, if you don't have fun playing somebody, you're probably not going to play them. So I think he's as good as anyone, you know, I mean, like Sammy obviously can hit harder, uh, and I love Sammy. Uh, Sammy can't do the yellow MP steal, not that he needs to. It's just different. Very, very different. It's kind of like comparing apples to oranges, but I think Sammy's the best powerhouse. Do I think he's better than Sammy? No. But he's unique, and he can do a lot of different things. Uh, so for that reason, I mean, like, to me, he's he's whatever, if you want to say top tier, I would call it Call him top tier as good as any other powerhouse very curious to hear what you guys think in the comments hopefully you enjoyed this video uh hopefully i showed off clubber well for you uh any comments let me know remember to like subscribe and share because that helps me out other than that guys thank you so much for watching please have fun with this event i know i am um props from me anyway to scopely uh fun is the key to me for any video game and this one is heckin fun for me so yeah Good luck out there, guys.